another matchup from the what are these tournament uh this is going to be uh breakers uh played by massimo against siabata bread i think from the seven elves i think uh this matchup is one, one of the few bad matchups for abua uh, there's a better range of uh Takudu forces abua to get out of his comfort spot uh, once that happens, uh, the Gulu can punish with the multiple assassination tools it has. So, yeah, I, I, I think it's, it's a bad matchup, but uh, it's not super bad. It's just like 55, 45, maybe maybe 6-4. Um, I suspect it's actually 6-4, but I think nobody still played Takuli. Or maybe I didn't see anybody just convince me uh, that Takuli already 6 uh, Abua. But uh, I see. I, I think secretly it, it it does happen. Anyway, let's see the game. Uh this is the start for the Abua. S starting strong with Chand of Wing. This playing is very aggressive, which I think I think it's a it's a it's a smart move. I think, like I said, I think if you try to, I've seen some people trying to fight me. At the range, uh, at range with the Pua against Tekulu, and I feel that doesn't work well. Uh, yeah, you have the archers who are pretty good, but that's all you have, and the whole Tekulu deck is prepared to fight range. And I generally feel comfortable when, when my Pua opponent is trying to fight uh, the range fight, but I've lost sometimes. I've lost, but in general, I feel I, I feel more more concerned with the Pua just try to punish me. Anyway, um. Let's see how that works out for Abuashi. It's super aggressive, just with everything forward. Interesting that the lioness, uh, the lioness, wasn't boost instead of uh, uh, something else. I don't know. I understand the value of the boost somewhere else, but that lioness is going to die very easily. But I don't know. Uh, thinking about it more, it, uh, it, it's going to be very hard for 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 Tukulu to kill that lioness because you have this rhino that you have to deal with and the archer. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's super fine. So let's see how uh, uh, the breakers respond. Oh yeah, this is one of the problems. Uh, this is one of the reasons that you can't really play ranged game versus Takulu, which is uh, you can't... It's very hard to to have an archer within three spaces of a summoning spot because the Mind Witch copying archer is extremely good. Uh, this is one of the reasons Rakers is also has some advantage here. Uh, that is pretty nasty. And Chew Mind Witch. That's super nasty. Oh, full, full capture. Yeah, this is looking very bad for Abua. Uh, I don't know at the start. I don't know really how to play the matchup as Abua. I, I struggle, so I'm not going to say what, what Abua should or should not do. But uh, yeah, this was a brutal counter with two men, which is just in rage for the archer. And then uh, just a uh, full capture on the right now. This, this looks horrible. Just a uh, second turn, and I, I, I don't want to be able to win this game anymore. Um, yeah, let, let's see. I think I think that uh, while well, you have to play pretty aggressive, maybe, and this I'm I'm just theorizing here. Uh, I think you should make an extra effort to not have archers in range of a summoning spot. I know it's easier said than done, but yeah, what well, mine which should which cop is an archer is just too good. Anyway, let's move on. Another archer. Mm, okay. The good thing is, is you can answer to this art. Yeah, I think I think that's reasonable if you that have commons in hand. But this is looking worse and worse for Abua. Going to be very hard for, to come back from this. Oh. I really like that line. Just keep pushing slowly, moving a gate here. You need to do something, make something happen. And uh, Massimo is playing here as I think she'll. Just very conservative, just keep your distance, have an archer. 
here. So you, you can bring uh, I'm seeing it the hand, good dooms, wine mage, uh just to to take more advantage uh, of your your position. So yeah, this is uh looking very good for breakers. Wine mage incoming. Wine witch and now the shenanigans breakers. It's rolling so well. It's not that missing thing you can you can hit and hide it's just so hard to play at range uh this matchup yeah boy trying to to recover some some terrain here controlling this zone i think if you don't have the cards you need to try to slowly uh just push but this is looking very bad economically for abua it doesn't have position. It's just uh, I don't know. I I think I think to come back Abua here, uh, it needs yeah some luck. It needs some serious misses from uh, Breaker. I don't think any other way. Look, look at this economy. It's just twenty three car magic and sixteen. You have a bigger board. Uh, the position is favorable for Rakers. Yeah, let, let's see what tries to break through, but this looks very bad. Oh. Archer is just shoot. Look at that, just protecting. I mean, very well played by Massimo. Just, just to mention, Massimo is right now the finalist on the league, and currently he's having playing very well. And this game is showing that he, he knows how to play breakers very well. I don't buy a, a poor position here. And at this point, I think this is a little of what uh, will happen. The was trying to regain some position, trying to fight a little. The problem is, yeah, I don't see a path for, for Abua to, to come back here. I, I will, I will, what I would do maybe is try to bring... Uh, Accept the game, slow down, trying to bring Ru uh, and Midi Cat. Uh, those are powerful champions that can help in the slow games. Uh, Ru, it's actually kind of hard for breakers to deal with because you can copy it with Mind Witch and just, it's, I don't know, in general, it's very hard to deal with uh, uh, Ru for breakers. That's one of the key cards. And actually, uh, the Mitty Cat is actually very good too because you can hit and run, you can boost your units if you don't have anything to attack. So I think the key, I mean, I prefer to play, I think, remember, I don't know how to play well this matchup as a Bua, but I think if aggression doesn't work, which I, is what my first go-to, my second plan is to try to summon uh, Ru and summon Mitty Cat and try to get some big value with those two units and make some plays. Uh, which I, I'm not seeing, and um, given that there's not magic left, I, I don't know if you're going to see. Another thing is just keep some one lioness in the behind and just keep boosting it, uh, while you fight the middle. Those are the tools that what has to 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 kind of uh not 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 be left behind while it recovers some terrain. Let's see more of uh, what he's doing, just boosting. Yeah, I think this all this is fine. Just trying to gain some economy. Fight. Let's turn over from Breakers. Yeah, Breakers is going to do Breakers thing from range. Just poke and protect. Uh, not left, very good uh, counter attacks. And yeah, but we're just trying to get some value with boost, which is fine. It can attack anything. You have something to attack. Just attacking with Archer, protected by Deceiver. The Tempest, that's 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 rough. Like every turn uh, from Breakers was just getting more and more ahead and and putting uh, Abua more and more behind. I want to stop at this point because uh yeah uh, I want to comment. It's very hard for me to try to. Re uh, I don't know how to. Play, like I will say another time. I don't know how to play well this matchup from Abua side. Uh, this game went down, went south very fast early on. It, uh, Abua tried to. I think uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I think a decent offensive. It's just 
But uh, Breakers had everything to counterattack that, and from that it went downhill. Maybe Awa should try to be a little slower, or maybe just not expose. I don't know. It looked good when Awa did the play, but not so good after two mind which uh, came in and Atakulu just full man captures the Rhino. So I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, I, I don't know exactly. I mean, I know when the game went south for Awa, which it was like second turn. But I don't know what could happen uh, if there was a point where I will could reverse that. Anyway, moving on. At this point, I will let the game play a little uh, because I, I don't think there is much of what I can do. Just the advantage is massive. It's like 19 magic against like 10, which have huge war, great position. This is just too much so i'm just going to let it play out i think the game is, is over for all uh, intended purposes <laughs> well, i tried to fighting a little i don't think this push by by breakers is necessary but like i said at this point it doesn't matter breakers can just play very lose um uh, maybe it's super fine i don't know i i, I don't feel like i like commenting on that and having good doing this position is also brutal you, you can attack the gates by giving dull attacks uh to your archers and whatnot and that's very powerful Yeah, decided to just go back. But why risk the game? Can just poke Abu uh, to that. It's funny because this is a long game, which was actually very short. In the sense that the game was over like several turns ago. It's taking a while for breakers to finish it. That's fine. It's just saying something for the sake of saying something. But I would like to have seen. I don't know what happened in the hand of Havua. That it's always hard to comment without seeing the hand. But I would like to see, given the dynamic of the game, to see Ru and Medicat joining. I think that will be critical for this game and this in this matchup. It's very important when the game slows down. If you if you can start a, a strong offensive early on, uh, you can present from them. But if the game slows down, I think you need Ru and Cat. Uh, I think that's everything I have to say for this game.